Tina Knowles Lawson is known for being a fierce fashion designer, a businesswoman, a champion of women's rights, and a mother of two very famous daughters. She's also known for her love life. While she was first married to businessman Matthew Knowles, their marriage disintegrated in the public eye. Thankfully, Miss Tina found love again with actor Richard Lawson, and this is their love story. Feeling hungry? Head over to rrgsnacks.com to purchase a bag of our gourmet popcorn. Available in several flavors, now you can enjoy our super messy videos all while getting your grub on. Use code POPPIN20 to receive 20% off your first order. In 1980, Tina and Matthew Knowles got married and started building a family. While pregnant with their first daughter, Tina went to visit her best friend, Gwen. Gwen's brother, Richard Lawson, stopped by and was completely mesmerized by Tina. In an Instagram post, Richard wrote he thought Tina was the most beautiful woman he had ever met. But not only was Tina pregnant, but she was happily married, and Richard was married too. His wife was Denise Gordy, the niece of Motown founder Barry Gordy. And get this, Denise is also the biological mother of Marvin Gaye's son, Marvin III. But that's a messy story we'll have to discuss in another video. Together, Richard and Denise had a baby girl named Bianca. He knew he couldn't take his attraction to Tina any further, so they remained friends, and he continued to admire Tina from a distance. Tina gave birth to her daughter Beyonce in 1981, and a second daughter, Solange, entered the world in 1986. Throughout their marriage, Tina and Matthew managed their daughter's careers, helping them become the most successful musical acts in the world. While Tina was busy on the road with her daughters, Richard was making his presence known in the acting world. He starred in films like Poltergeist and had roles on TV shows like All My Children, Dynasty, and 227, to name a few. His resume was so extensive, people would always recognize him in public, like that fateful day on March 22, 1992. As a side gig, Richard worked as a drug and alcohol interventionist for the NBA, and the Cleveland Cavaliers asked him to fly out to talk to some of their players. So he booked a flight out of New York's LaGuardia Airport to head out to Cleveland. The weather was terrible, and the forecast showed that the snow was expected to get worse in the upcoming days. So Richard switched to an earlier flight to try and beat the snow. The ticket attendant recognized him at the gate, and he wanted an autograph for his wife. Richard gave it to him, and in return, the agent upgraded him from seat 6A to seat 1F, which was in first class. As he settled into his upgraded seat at the front of the plane, he tried reading his newspaper, but he just couldn't focus. He told the New York Times, I had these bad vibes. Shortly after takeoff, the plane veered sharply to the left and then shifted to the right. Passengers felt the aircraft bounce back on the runway several times before a screeching sound of metal filled the cabin and fiery flames lit up the windows. Passengers described the plane flipping over several times before it snapped into pieces and plunged into a body of icy cold water. Richard told the New York Times he knew it was the end. He was trapped in his seat, upside down, underwater, and a voice inside of him told him to relax and peacefully pass away. But when he felt someone next to him struggling to free themselves from their seat, Richard's will to survive kicked in. He felt a surge of adrenaline as he unloosened his seatbelt. Another passenger stuck their arm through a hole in the side of the metal, and Richard grabbed on and was pulled out of the aircraft. He swam through the five-foot-deep, icy-cold water and went toward a layer of railroad ties where other survivors had already gathered. They watched as the remaining pieces of the aircraft were engulfed in flames. In total, 27 people lost their lives that day, and Richard was only one of 24 passengers who survived. He was able to escape with only minor cuts and bruises, while the passenger who was given Richard's original seat in 6A lost her life. During a 2005 interview with Larry King, Richard said he didn't belong to any specific organized religion, but he did believe someone was looking out for him on that day. Despite going through such a traumatic experience, he says he isn't afraid to fly. 
He knows that one day his time will come to leave this earth, so he's going to make the most out of each and every day. He and his wife eventually divorced, and Richard fathered a son named Ricky with a woman named Rochelle. He was keeping busy by continuing to flourish as an actor. He also began teaching a camera technique class at the Beverly Hills Playhouse, one of the oldest acting schools in Los Angeles County. Meanwhile, Tina and her husband Matthew's storybook marriage was beginning to crumble. In October 2009, TMZ reported that actress Alexandra Wright claimed she had an 18-month affair with Matthew, which resulted in the birth of a baby boy named Nixon. A DNA test later confirmed, You are the father! <laughs> He was ordered to pay $12,000 per month in child support, but the payment was reduced to $2,485 per month after Beyonce fired him as her manager. In November 2009, Tina filed for divorce. The couple released a statement to the Associated Press stating their split was amicable and they would remain friends, parents, and business partners. They added, if anyone is expecting an ugly, messy fight, they will be sadly disappointed. Their divorce was called off in November 2010 when neither of them showed up to court, but they finally went through with severing ties and their divorce was finalized in November 2011. Matthew got married again in 2013 to a woman named Gina Avery. He also faced yet another paternity battle in 2014 when a second woman claimed he was the father of her baby girl. Even though the child was born after Matthew and Tina had separated, the baby was conceived when they were still legally married. A DNA test proved once again that he was the baby's daddy. Even though Tina was completely over their marriage, she reflected about life after Matthew. According to Huff Post, Tina said she still considered Matthew her family, and it hurt a little bit to find out he had remarried so soon after their divorce. During an interview with Girlfriends Check In, Tina said her daughters told her she would pull through because God had something in store for her. Tina wasn't so sure she would find love again, though. She told her friends she didn't even know where to find a man, so she decided to just focus on herself, but life had other things in store. Her best friend Gwen passed away, but Tina was still in contact with Gwen's brother, Richard. Tina and Richard reconnected after Tina's disastrous marriage finally came to an end. By that point, Richard was single as well and ready for love. During a public speech, Tina recounted how one of her friends asked Richard if he knew of any men who would be interested in Tina. So Richard asked Tina what kind of man she was looking for. Tina told him she wanted someone with integrity, who believed in God and liked to dance. That's when Richard asked, what about me? Tina and her friend both responded. Oh, hell no. Tina explained at the Essence Empowerment Experience that she didn't think Richard was the right guy for her because there were a lot of other women who were interested in him and she didn't want to deal with all of that. But Richard wasn't going to give up. He had waited over 30 years to have a chance with Tina. The very next day, he took Tina and her friend dancing. And the day after that, he and Tina went out for lunch, just the two of them. They began spending more and more time together, and their friendship eventually turned romantic. After four months of dating, Tina underwent surgery, and Richard flew out to be with her and nurse her back to health. Tina wasn't completely comfortable with him seeing her in that state, and she didn't think it was the right way to start off a new relationship. However, she said Richard won her over by being there for her and for being so patient during her recovery. They didn't seriously commit to the idea of marriage until September 2014. They were celebrating Beyonce's birthday when Beyonce's daughter, Blue Ivy, said to them, Oh, y'all look beautiful. When are y'all getting married? Richard answered, Oh, Blue, soon. Do you approve? And Blue said yes. They became husband and wife in April 2015 aboard a yacht in Newport Beach. Tina walked down the aisle to India Ari's Ready for Love, and the couple exchanged vows in front of several high-profile guests, including members of Destiny's Child and Samuel L. Jackson. After getting married, Tina and Richard quickly joined forces in the business world. 
Not only are they co-owners of a theater center for children and an acting studio in Los Angeles, but Richard's son, Ricky, works in the A&R department of Beyonce's Parkwood Management Company. It appears that Tina and Richard are doing a great job at blending their families and their lives together. They love to celebrate their love publicly with Instagram photos and videos that prove that they're the perfect match. In one post, Richard wrote that his attraction toward her has never wavered. He also described her as a, quote, hot, sexy, ratchet god warrior. And Tina is just as in love with him. In an Instagram post celebrating their sixth wedding anniversary, she described him as compassionate, kind, and the most brilliant man she has ever met. She thanked her hubby for contributing to her happiness and ended her message by saying she loves him more and more each day. We're so happy Tina didn't give up on love after her first marriage came to an end. Not only is she glowing and happier than ever, but she and Richard appear to be made for each other. In an effort to give hope to other women, Tina told People magazine, You can find love at any age. You just have to go for it. We wish Tina and Richard many years of love and happiness. Let us know your thoughts about their love story. And thanks for watching Real Reality Gossip.